Hello everyone. Welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. I'm Denise. I hope you guys are doing really well. So um, lots of you have told me that you want more readings on the Trump uh, adult children and, and Melania. So <laughs> this one's devoted to Melania. And if uh, Baron comes in the reading, that, that's fine too. But anyway, I'm going to be looking at um, uh, maybe the last week in August or a little bit further. I'm not sure if I could do these every week, but I, I thought I'll just look at her for this time period. So uh, anyway, it'll be a, you know somewhere uh, the end of August and through uh, first week of September in there. Okay, so let me bring the camera down uh, over my table and I'll get this reading going for you. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I decided to use the Kipper because it's so um, it's such a relational deck. There are many people cards. <laughs> See what's going on in her life. So this one's by Chiro Marchetti and it's um, an expanded edition. There's some extra cards in here. So another reason I'm choosing this deck. Okay, so Melania. What's up? <laughs> What's up? What is going on? So first off, I think I want to check out the past. What's been going on with her in the past? Okay. Who have you been hanging out with? What you been feeling? What's going on in your life? Then after this, we'll look into the future. What's this one over here. Okay. This would have to be her mom. That's interesting. I would think it would be her mom. I thought they had an okay relationship, but I, I don't know. Who, who knows? I mean, what, what? A person who would marry Donald Trump? How could. Unless they've done a lot of deep personal growth, but I don't think so. Because remember that jacket she wore? Remember that green jacket that said, Do you really care? Something like that. It's like, wow. Well, she was going to visit the children in the camps. Oops, it's up a little too high. Okay. So anyway, so with the past, the theme here in the middle is uh, she's been very concerned, very, uh, and this would be interesting for somebody with as much um, earth in her uh, chart, you know, in her natal chart, to, well, then again, when it comes to money and just uh, those things, this is, this is my card for uh, obsessive compulsive disorders, for feeling very insecure, for feeling pretty helpless, maybe depressed, and it's all because of <laughs> all the trouble that you know who is in. And she she knows. Well, on one level, she's she knows the things that she's done. This is my FBI search card coming in here. I'm not gonna say raid because it wasn't a raid, it was a legal document, but you know, somebody came in, a whole bunch of people came in, and they got a wealth of information. And I've gotten in many readings <laughs> that I think she was one of the people who kind of tipped them off. So maybe she's afraid of getting caught. Now, I don't know who this person is. If it's not her mother, it would be somebody older than her, but maybe not a whole lot older than her, uh, who's been her confidant. And, and remember, this is just the past. Okay, so 
lovers can be up, up, you know, absolute outright lovers, but it can also be people that she's partnered with. Well, this sad news card, which you know is what it usually is called message of concern. This is my card for subpoenas and warrants, and you know, so this is all FBI coming in. I f I have a feeling this is partly the Donald, like hanging over her consciousness as well. I. Uh, but anyway, back to the, the lovers here. This could be just, you know, being loyal to someone. And usually having a successful outcome, though. And the successful outcome would be over the um, FBI search, I'm thinking. And it's up here hanging over the deception card. So you know, these two cards night together, and yeah. So I feel like she's she's actually okay. She's feeling okay. But she, I'm thinking in the past, she was pretty concerned about how it would go down, and maybe would she get caught? Because I think she tipped them off. I do. I know, call me crazy, but it's come through in so many cards, you know, so many spreads, so many times that I, I, I have to go with it because she kept showing up. You know, I'd be reading on Trump in the, in the main woman card, whereas, oh, this is at the bottom, so something's going to take some time. But anyway, when, you, when you're reading the people and you're reading on a person, I was reading on Trump. She kept coming through. I was reading on Trump's, uh, you know, FBI search thing. She kept coming through. And every time we would ask, you know, Lisa and I in live streams, we would ask, uh, did Melania have anything to do with it? We kept, we kept getting, you know, we kept confirming that, yeah, she, she did. <laughs> so, well, that's weird. But then again, I'm thinking maybe she has other plans. So she gave something. This does not have to be money. You can see it can just be a gift. This is also my card for visitors. So she had a very successful outcome on the FBI, you know, visit. <laughs> and with the Distant Horizons card here, she I don't think she's, a, I don't see her as someone who does a lot of drugs or alcohol. Um, I I could be wrong, but I'm I not seeing that. I'm feeling like this has to do more with um, something that she's been longing for, and it's probably to get away from you know who. This guy, who's just can you imagine what it'd be like hanging out with him? I imagine she gets away from him as much as she possibly could. I. Um, but what happened in the past, now here's our card for the FBI search. This would be Mar-a-Lago. And maybe, I don't know if she was there when it happened, but because maybe she kind of took off. I don't know. That, that I, I've never looked up to see like who was there and what happened that way. But in the past, she's had visitation coming into her home And, and it was um, deceptive. So I feel like I, I, if I'm reading these cards right, because th these cards are trying to tell us something, if I'm reading them right, the important message here is that she was at Mar-a-Lago and she did have something to do with it. And, um, you know, they got everything they wanted. They got a wealth of everything that they wanted. And, or she wasn't at Mar-a-Lago, but this woman was. Interesting. Wow. So that's a little research process. I, I, need, to, I need to see, um, or project, I should say. I, I need to see who was there at Mar-a-Lago. Maybe no one, maybe none of the family was. I don't know. 
you guys probably know more than I do. Um, but I, I don't like comments that just say, I heard. I don't, please don't do that. Please don't comment things of rumors. It, if it's a uh, absolute documented article you can find online from a trustworthy source, you know, like uh, Washington Post, The Atlantic, uh, New York Times, uh, you know, but real investigative journalism, I, or there's video, something like that, email it to me. And I will definitely um, be so happy and grateful for that. But lots of comments about, you know, he said, she said, and hearsay and things like that. It doesn't help me. It just kind of pulls me in a bunch of different directions. Um, so anyway, so in the past, we have the FBI search all over this spread. And... It looks to me like she was deceptively involved. And she has a longing, I think, to have her own safe space away from the former guy. So let's do let, let's let's do it this way. Let's um how about let's just do a little relationship spread on her and her <laughs> still legal husband, right? Let's do a relationship spread on her and her husband. The Donald. Can you imagine how she felt when he buried Ivana on his golf course? Yeah, I mean, her, her eyes are probably bugging out. Okay, let's look at their relationship. What's going on there? And then I might even look and see if there's other, <laughs> other relationships going on. Okay. How are her and the Donald getting along? And let's just look at the past with that. And then I'm then I might do the future. Just the past. How have they been getting along? Past and maybe past and present. Some planning, some strategy. That's this has been going on for a long time, whatever it is. Well, probably lots of her traveling to get away with Baron or some new starts. Yeah, because something's wrong. This is like the fox card in the Lenormand, or Lenormand, or the Lenny's, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and she's been wanting to get away, right? Let's see what was at the bottom. Yeah, this would be the subpoena she was waiting for. <laughs> Or, the, or feeling stuck, maybe worried about poverty, too, and stuck. Because the expectation card, you don't have any control there. Okay. What do we have here? So down here in the center, or right here in the center, I should say, I... Again, the journey is like, it can be a soul journey. This can be the journey of your soul. This can be movement. This can be um, getting away, you know, wanting to get away. This could be trying to leave the old behind and make a new start because something's definitely wrong. And this is the strategy card. The thoughts card is all about having a strategy a plan, concentrating deeply in, I, I would say, getting away. And she's been wanting to for a long time. Because remember, this is the past. So for a long time, at least the last couple of years, she's been wanting to get away because things are just bad. And it might be also that um, he's been making her feel kind of sick 
And it may also be on, on you know, because I read on different levels. Another message here could be that she's been able to see that something is very wrong with him. And with this card here, I'm feeling like there's a mental influence as well. And this would be his drugs and alcohol abuse. I've always felt that he drank, even though he says he doesn't. Go ahead, argue with me. You don't know anything about addiction if you're going to argue with me about that. Because <laughs> addicts will go from one thing to the other. Whatever's there, they have an impulse control disorder going on. And if you can't get the drugs you need, if you can't snort or take a pill or get whatever you need to come down, and there's alcohol around, you'll use it. And then go back online and, and uh, Google uh, Images. Go to Google Images and go Trump Studio 54. See how many pictures in there you can find of him drinking champagne and uh, you know other things. So don't tell me he doesn't drink. <laughs> now that you know all the comments I haven't liked. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Drugs, alcohol, substance abuse of some type, and many types is what I'm feeling. And this is created to his ill health that has, um, or this is created to, this has contributed to his ill health and has created her wanting to change, get, get out of Dodge, right? Move, get out of Dodge. Now, this, these two cars mirroring each other, this is interesting because with, um, you know, this, this could be... Filing papers to get a divorce. Here we have the documents and the paperwork, and then this would be the judge that would grant a divorce. Or somebody, you know, this is somebody. This is a tricky thing with this card, is that it can be a, a doctor. I, these two cards together can be rehab. I don't think he's gotten a way to go to rehab. I don't think he has. I've had these cards come through with Don Jr. before. I think just last for his last month reading, which um, is still valid. But for for Donald, huh? This could be a doctor. It could be. It could be tax problems too that have been going on for a long, long time. So this is their relationship together. Do you see any love? Nah. I don't think so. Now on a weird like sexual level, this is a card for a quickie, but she wasn't around. Get me out of here, basically, right? <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. It's like, ugh. Yeah, I don't think that's it. that's been happening for years. Uh, what else? Okay. Let's look at, well, actually, let me go ahead and put the cards back in. And let's, let's look at, um, let's look at their future together. And then... And then maybe um, her future separately, depending on what I get. Well, let's look at their future together. Because it's possible that that one, um, it should be adjudication, but the adjudication card, that, that could be going to uh, an attorney, divorce attorney. Okay. The Donald and Melania's future together. together financially it looks like their loyalty for a long time too so there's something hmm I don't know who that is no that's interesting okay let's just keep going oh boy that's not good okay So 
So, for a long time, there's been a plan, but what's the, what has the plan been about? It's supposed to be to be loyal to each other, and it's all about money and success and contracts, bonds and contracts, that type of thing. But, this may be a woman that is helping her get free, break free, because something is ending that had been going on for a long time, but in the future, because this is, you know, the whole thing is the future, and, it, and we could be looking at a sequence, sequence of events here. Um, this is a, our card for like teamwork and uh, trying to negotiate something, and I... Uh, with the Great Fortune card hanging over, it's kind of hard to mess up this card, really, and, you know, to have the lovers. The, all of these this, these four cards here tell me that things have been fine in the past as far as their uh, mutual bond of, of a monetary type of, a, um, you know, contract. And they were very together on that. Wow. Now, this card, you know, is this going back and forth, back and forth, negotiating for a long time, but this is our card for something that can happen quickly. There's some strategy for an end, a final ending, a legal final ending. But now, uh, because, you know, his, his assets will be seized, uh, it, you know, when those court cases come down in New York, and I don't know how the one is going, if, you know, what's going on in, uh, what, what is that, Tilbury, Tilbury, Til, Tid, Tidbury, I don't know, in Scotland, He's not doing well with any of his uh, businesses at all. Any of the court or um, Trump Towers are not in anything that he owns in any of the Trump Towers. And his brand name is not, you know, you, you don't have Mazars uh, drop him, drop the person, and you don't have, um, you don't have Weiselberg plead guilty. And go away for, you know, he's going to be gone away in October for five months. You don't have those things happen and then have your brand last. It just doesn't. It's not going to happen. And I remember reading on that a couple of years ago, long, or at least, yeah, it was either 2020 or 2021, somewhere in there, when someone asked me, like, how's the Trump brand going to do? And it, I got way back then that it was all going to fall apart. So, so there's that. And so now whether this would be outright not being able to make ends meet, I'm, I'm sure she's always going to have um, resources. But him, you know, he's an older guy running out of time, an older guy with health issues. He's, he's running out of time. And their marriage has, you can see here, the future of it, the trajectory is headed towards divorce, legal divorce, and I don't think there's going to be anything left for her to get, is what this card is about. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, let's 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 look at her on, on her own. Just to, just to be thorough, and then I'll be done. And it's probably way too long. Yeah, it's half an hour on Melania. <laughs> okay. Melania. Let me get these mixed up. Hold your ears if this bugs you. Okay. Melania, what is your future? What is Melania's future? It, f it feels very um, uncertain. To me, she doesn't really know. She might have a plan, but I don't know if that's, yeah.
Now this is not Trump, but it could be her father or some other. <laughs> if she's been Trump's handler, this could be the poodster, as Laurie calls him. Because look at this. Wow. But this is Melania's future. Okay. Whoa. See how you can get interesting information on all parties connected to each other? Uh, just by reading on people you wouldn't think would matter. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I don't know how long any of this is going to take, but this is this is her future. And if I keep reading on her and I keep getting the same cards, we'll we'll start to, you know, sniff out the pattern, which is often the case. Um, I I consistently get this card for Trump every time I read on him. I, uh, you know, in all the monthlies. So and we'll see if it starts if it keeps coming through in the weeklies. But anyway, I'm. Um, She's she's working on something, but she's depressed about it. She's really stressed out about it. My keywords for this car are tortured with worry and stress. And it's like the Nine of Swords, but even worse, because it's not just one bad night or a hangover or a headache or a or a you know up at night worrying about money. It's it's much deeper and it goes on for much longer. It's the worst card in the deck, besides maybe this one here. But her work, whatever work she's had, is ending, and she's in a lot of pain about it. And this could be her father who's having health problems or some other older man who was supportive of her uh, is having health problems. And there's a major restriction. Um, I don't know that she would be uh, being locked up. I don't. I just. I don't see that. But this card could be definitely restriction. This is a, an ambitious younger man, someone under 55. This is old, over over 55 usually, or we could say you know, under 50 and over 50. And this is a new start because of whoever this guy is. This could be an attorney that uh, is trying to help her, but she's going to go through a down patch and a major restriction. Or this, these could, these three cards could be talking about, um, uh, you know, her husband's health, and maybe there's an older guy that's trying to support her. But this could also be Putin. Because you think she's maybe worked for him by looking at these cards? I've kind of always wondered if she's been... I know it sounds crazy, totally crazy to me. But I've always kind of wondered, is she has she been Trump's handler all these years? Because Ivana was all mobbed up with, with Russia. And Ivana's father was definitely connected to Russia. And I'm pretty sure that... Um, now, Melania came from Slovenia, but I'm pretty sure her dad was uh, connected as well. But anyhow, there's an ending to money coming in. There's painful loss. And the, every you know legal document that keeps coming in is just going to be even more painful for, uh, for her. So it doesn't look good to me, but there might be this new guy coming into her life, or it might be a guy that's always been in her life and they have a new start eventually. Now, on another level, this is a guy anywhere under 50. And with the child card, this could be barren. This could be her son that she's definitely worried about because these two cards night together. So that's interesting. And she's worried about restrictions on, you know, their life. So that's another layer there. 
So, okay, well, let's see what, wait, what was on the bottom. Yeah, that soul journey again and rules and regulations and military. Yeah. Is she, she going to hook up with a military man? Man, yeah, I doubt it. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, you guys, for uh, listening. And um, I'll, I'll move on to the next one. Take good care. Bye.